Hello, welcome back to Polder's Gate 3. It's me, A. Proustian, and... Cold Run. And I have a bit of a cold, so I might sound a little bit uh, stuffy. And I'll try to edit out any sniffles. Uh, but I really wanted to play, so here we are playing. <laughs> um, and yeah, we gotta figure out what we're doing today. I think the idea was to continue towards the crash. Which was our original to go to the goal. cave? Oh yeah, we could do that first. I don't think we ended up talking to to Rugen or the others there, or did we? We I did we because did. we had the conversation about the chest. Um, oh, okay. Oh, that reminds me. We found after we stopped playing last time, we found the Illithid powers menu, but I didn't actually look at it. So I'm gonna open it up and <laughs> take a look at it. I yeah, literally, same. like, found it and closed it, and I'm not sure it really completely registered that this was literally my brain. Now, for me, I'm just looking at an, a picture of a... When I click on that tadpole thing, it just says, not available. Cold Run has undergone a magical transformation. Two tadpoles available. Interesting. Mine shows my actual brain, and then five glyphs that I guess I can... Mm -hmm. maybe access or purchase or maybe I have access to these and I need to unlock others okay so let me look at what I've got right now psionic overload uh, oh it says not trained yet okay so these are the things I could maybe purchase um, uh, oh god your attacks deal an additional 1 to 4 psychic damage but you take 1 to 4 psychic damage every turn Ooh, I don't know about that one. Transfuse health. Sacrifice half your remaining hit points to heal a target for the same amount. Hmm. Concentrated blast. 3d6 psychic. You must be concentrating on another spell to cast this. If the target was concentrating, you heal as much as the damage that was dealt to it. So this is conditional, but that's a lot of damage. That's pretty cool. Force tunnel. Charge forward, pushing all objects and creatures in your path four meters away from you. Doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. I could become the cow. Yeah. Favorable beginnings. The first attack roll or ability check you make against any target gains a bonus equal to your proficiency bonus. That seems just good. Right? There's no downside to that. I don't have to activate it. It's just the first time I do something, I get a bonus. I'm definitely going to take that. Okay. Okay, I clicked on it, and now I have a tadpole wriggling, like, connected to my mouse. Uh, awesome. Uh, <laughs> it wriggled into the brain. <laughs> and that expanded my options. That is, that is pretty great. There's really, like, no downside to it. It sounds like it's just, like, free extra points. With it no does. real consequences coming down the line for using this. Right. Oh, God. Okay, so that gave me some options. Luck of the Far Realms. Once per long rest, you can change a successful attack roll against a foe into a critical hit. Or charm. Uh, channel the dark allure of the tadpole to charm an enemy that attacks you, preventing them from attacking you until their next turn. Eh, I kind of want this concentrated blast. I think. What are the Far Realms? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the Far Realms are. Like It sounds Lovecraftian. It does a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to take this Concentrated Blast. It's very conditional, but then I'll have like one passive benefit and one where I really have to pay attention. Mm. And I think that's okay. Um, because I do concentrate on spells, like um, Guidance is a concentration, and I think I have a couple others. And then if 
somebody else is concentrating on stuff, it will heal me. But even if they're not, it will still damage them. So I'm going to take this. <laughs> God, the tadpole wriggling. I was going to say I did not sign up for this, but you know what? I kind of did. You literally did. I literally did. Okay, I'm out of tadpoles, but I want to see what that opened up. Psionic Backlash. When an enemy within 9 meters casts a spell, you can use your reaction to inflict 1d4 psychic damage on the caster per spell level. Uh, Cull the Weak. When you bring a creature down to fewer hit points than your number of evolved illithid powers, it dies. And all nearby creatures take 1 to 4 psychic damage. So this avoids the, like, the old sliver of health survivors. It does. Damn. Okay, that's, you know, that's for future me to decide if I want to, uh, engage in. Okay, well, huh. Now I've got those powers. God, that is, they really do make it, like, Mind my step. creepy. Yes. Okay, well, I'm willing to go in and look in this cave and see if there's anything kind of in there. Okay. Um, okay. Let's disarm this mine first. Oh my god. Oh, no. oh critical no. Critical fail? Oh, I critical failed. Um, I'll just continue. Huh. He'll take some damage. It's fine. Mm. Poison mine used explosion. <laughs> uh, it's a poison cloud. Okay. Um, well, can I... Now, if I... The problem is, now if I try to... Empty. Uh, oh, no, it went away. It dissipated. Okay, I'm going to... Block pick this. Now that the poison's gone away. Like, the only way he fails these, he has so many bonuses, the only way he fails is if <laughs> he rolls a one. All right. Which, you know, happens every, what, one out of 20 times? Yeah, 5%. Ooh, we got gloves. Reasons? Grasp. Green gloves? Yeah, it says, ever vigilant. When the wearer chooses to end their rage, they gain 15 temporary hit points. So that's something that would be really good for um, Carlac. Yeah. Oh, very much so. Okay, cool. So there's interesting. one other locked chest over here, though not trapped, I don't think. Okay. I wonder if the gods are watching me. I shall be a starian again. Just barely makes it. Okay. <laughs> and let's lockpick this. Easy. Difficulty class five. Okay, good. <laughs> it's like really the only way he loses this is rolling a one. Mm. Potion of mind reading and some gold. Okay. Cool. Potion of mind reading. Oh, neat. Okay. Yeah. Drink to probe into the minds of those around you. You'll be able to read the thoughts of certain creatures while speaking with them until long rest. That's interesting. Yeah, if there's anyone who's being a little sussy baka, then we can, right. we can uh, look into them. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Okay. Oh, noes. How am I gonna jump from here. Uh, how do I get back? Oh, this is a problem. Maybe from here. Not enough space. Well, sheet. Um, 
I am a little bit stuck. Let's see. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh god. What'd you do? I just triggered an Indiana Jones boulder to roll down at me. I was like, boulder? What the fuck is going on over there? Uh, well. I found a trap. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> Where even are you? I was exploring the rest of the cave. In fairness to me, it was a giant boulder and it blended in. <laughs> okay. I see you. I'm down here. Yeah. Okay. Well. I mean, you already set off the trap, so that's good. That's it, right. It's all safe now. Why am I going around? Why is my character going around? I said go down there, and my character's like, yep, got it, boss. <laughs> Running all the way around here. What the fuck? Which I guess... Maybe I'll learn something, so I'm not interrupting it, but like... I don't even know how to interrupt it, actually. Like, Jesus, though, me? I s where, where the hell am I going? I have no idea. You're, you're certainly on an adventure. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Those friggin' those oh my give God. the tadpoles a little power, and look what they do. And then it says, can't get there from here. I stop. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Cancel. Okay, that's the silliest thing my character has done so far. What even the fuck? Well, I vote we actually go back to camp and do a long rest because I am out of spell slots. Yeah, and I got I, I just got hit by a boulder so I could use a nap. <laughs> you did. Okay, I'm going to camp. Quest updated. It said the Wizard of Waterdeep updated, so... Gale's not looking so hot over here. Now, do we have an item to feed him if we if it um, need be? It's a good question. I think I have found some like I think Lazel had uh, I put some on Lazel. Um, I got this I'm not even sure what this is, like a dagger or something. Uh speedy replied it little slashing thing. I might I might just do that. So, I think I have some stuff I can sacrifice to the cause. Need be. Alright, Gail. Talk to me. My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. Okay. Offer him a magical artifact. Or there's the shattered flail that um, came from the Knoll boss. Mm. It's the one where hitting an enemy heals the wielder for one to six hit points, but they can go mad. Yeah, that feels like something we're unlikely to use, doesn't it? Right? It just doesn't seem like something I'm interested <clears throat> in giving somebody. So, okay, I'll go ahead and do that one. Like, it feels like one of those where once you're really good at the game and you know all the mechanics and how to avoid the downside, like, it seems like it's yeah. fantastic, but... We won't stress it. Thank you. There we go. <sighs> good gods. Hardly has any effect. Oh, Mister, have mercy on us all. I was a little worried Listen, about I that. I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Uh, go on. You're among friends. I might just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. I'm what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it, much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself, the lady of mysteries, the goddess Mistra. 
She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time, she became my muse. And later, even my lover. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? Um. I think I gotta ask about that. Wait, what? <laughs> Are you telling me you made love to a goddess? Oh, yes. Oh, God. We enjoyed each other's <laughs> company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, we never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. No bad, Gale. Yeah, that's bad. That's that's bad. It's bad, dude. I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. But she only smiled and told me to be contented. But inconceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess. Yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. Oh dear. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Oh, give I'm, me the, all the details. I'm just like, I'm I'm trying to imagine how he... It, it's You know how, like, the, the, the thing about how, like, teenage boys will try to tell people, like, oh, if I get blue balls, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm gonna die if you don't let me, like... Right. This, he's trying to convince the goddess of magic to keep. This seems like such bad news. Like such a. Okay. I'm. I God. I'm so curious about this. I know, right? And like. I also. I. I guess maybe the rules are different for goddesses. But I'm like. Probably. Don't <laughs> sleep with your students. <laughs> <laughs> and I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. Yep. Oh that's that's God. very fair. This whole thing. All right, I'm intrigued. Tell me all. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. He almost managed, but not quite. His entire empire, Netheril, and crashing down around him as he turned to stone. Whoops. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured and shattered, and all magic was lost to the mortal realms until the day Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. A netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Did you ask her if she thought it was a good idea? Jesus Christ. But then it would it would ruin the surprise and the romance of the spontaneity of the moment. Aww. The answer was to try. And the outcome was to fail. Yeah. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. <laughs> I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next, here, place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of blackest weave that pounces 
Its teeth, its claws. It's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods is it ever hungry. Huh. Yeah, that seems pretty tempting to yank your hand away. I might go with how are you still alive? Thankfully, the moment I absorbed the fragment wasn't enough to kill me outright. It was only the beginning. That's good. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Go on. I will erupt. Ah, I don't know the exact magnitude bad. of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry. And a level a city the size of Waterdeep. I am curious if you can get a game over by ignoring Gale. <laughs> like, never giving him any magic stuff. Like, Yeah, I thought he would just get debuffed, but I didn't think he would turn into an atomic bomb. Right? Yeah. Unbelievable. Did you ever think what would happen if the tadpole got the better of you? Every waking moment. Every dreaming moment, too. But there was no way out. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. Wait, so are he and Mistra on good, on like, are they like on friendly terms, but they're separated now, or? I don't know. Right? I don't... I don't know. But I'm not gonna kick a companion out. Um, no. Yeah. We've come this far together, we'll continue on together. That's how it will be. That is... a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me. I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. Does he know he's not talking to everyone? He's trusting you. But if you do we not give up hope, tell neither shall I. So I think the idea I'll is fight. everybody's standing around listening. I'll resist okay. as long as I can. Now. Even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. Okay, well, I can guarantee people are going to have something to say about this. Yeah. So I'm gonna talk to Will. Well met. Wait, really? Wow. Uh, they're all very understanding. It's nothing to them. I guess. You know. What if he actually? What if he just like? I don't know. Just thought he was talking to everyone and just wasn't. Like, no one knows about it. He was having, like, a grand speech, and right. we're the only one who heard. Maybe people will have something to say once it's, like, actual nightfall. I don't know. Oh, that's a good point. You know, I think I am going to pursue this. You should get out of this pact just to open up some more dialogue with yeah. Will here. Um, a possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. Hmm. I'm gonna say there must be some loophole in the contract that lets you out. There could well be. She has the blighted thing. What I know of it is simply what has engraved itself upon my memory. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The it's... only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. Is there an arrow stuck in his bow? 
I was not paying attention. Okay. Uh, we could beat her if we put our words together. We can. I'm sure of it. Yes. How that does glad seem to be I am that you see cool. me as more than my patron's pet. Okay, well, I'm glad I pursued that, because... Have you thought about making use of the tadpole's power? Mark my words. This power would be no blessing, but a curse. You might as well ask me to gouge out my eyes for the promise of sight, or slice off my tongue for the promise of taste. Consume all the gate tadpoles you wish. I'm not so craven. Oh, interesting. Yeah, do you want to persuade her to go against everything that she truly wants and believes in? Let's see. No. I'm just just kidding. No, you could you could do it if you want. I didn't. I was no. I well, because I was thinking, if I were persuading her that it's okay that I do it, that's one thing. I don't want to persuade her to do it. I think you would be probably actually. Yeah, you're right. So gladly. Okay. All right. Really can like seduce them to the dark side. Yeah. So I guess I can also. Yeah, I mean, but I don't think I want to. I think, you know, I talked to um, Astarian afterwards, and he was like, hell yeah, tadpole power. But everybody else is pretty against it, so... Yeah. Maybe I'll just end the day. Because, <laughs> no, I should see what Karlak thinks. Hey, you. Uh, more of these. So, about our tadpole powers. You really did it, huh? Not worried about adding more lithid into the mix? Well, what can I say? You look fine, smell fine, seem fine. And yet, you're more mind flayer than ever. Hope you don't expect me to follow your lead in this. Yeah, it's your choice, but I think the tadpoles make me stronger. Do they? I'm not sure either of us can say one way or the other. We don't know what the costs might be just yet. It's true. Yeah, I don't expect you to do anything you don't want to. Good. And you know, keep an eye on yourself. If you start feeling loopy, shout. We don't know what these tadpoles are capable of. Absolutely. Okay, now I'm going to end the day. Ah, uh, people have things to say now. Hey, soldier. He says you might try cooling me down. Any leads? Hmm. Let me try something. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Carlux just happy that I'm doing something, anything. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, as far as I can tell. <laughs> oh my god, Carlac. Okay, Astarian. Uh, just looking. What are you doing? I'm looking too, but not seeing very much. Another quirk of my affliction. If you asked, how did I know you You know I was here, would he have just said, look at the mirror in my hand? Like, what do you think? I can only imagine. It seems <laughs> right. pretty damn obvious. Like, yeah, do you miss it, seeing your own face? Preening in the looking glass. Petty vanity. Of course I miss it. <laughs> I've never even seen this face. Not since it grew fangs and my eyes turned red. I didn't. I wouldn't have thought that the mirror thing would be uh, canon in this universe, but it's interesting. Right? Apparently so. What color were they before? I... I don't know. I can't remember. Oof. My face is just some dark shape in my past. Another thing I've lost. Huh. 
<laughs> oh god. Three. Jesus. Uh. Which of these is least romantic without I mean, being an asshole? I don't think that number exists. <laughs> I don't think that option exists. That's the problem. Stare lovingly into his eyes. I like what I see, baby. Or... <laughs> you're not a aging. I think number three doesn't have to be. I think number three could be teasing, but he's kind of in a vulnerable place. I don't know that he'd actually right? take it as teasing. I think I'll do number one. I don't know. It, it doesn't have to be romantic, even though it feels like it's pushing that. Oh. Yeah, I'll be your mirror. What do you want to know? I want to know what the world sees when it looks at me. What do you see? Option number five, pull out the fan art. <laughs> uh, strong piercing eyes feels pretty, pretty right. Oh, go on. Oh, dear. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> at some point I'm gonna have to say that. Um, yeah, I'll go with the way your hair curls around your ears. Oh, this is meant to be flattery, not poetry. Just tell me I'm beautiful, and we can call it a day. <laughs> oh my God, that's perfect. <laughs> you don't have Lazelle's charm, but you're all right. How dare you! I thought we had something special. Asteria approves. Still, you're nice too. <laughs> I better get some beauty sleep. It seems I need it if I'm to catch up with the competition. I think that turned out okay. Good God. Yeah. I'm like, I want to be friends. I don't want it to be romantic. Okay. Um, I don't know... I suppose we could talk to Shadowheart. She doesn't have an exclamation point, but just to see. Sir Gale's been walking around this Here whole time with some sort of magic bomb in his chest. I'm not normally one to begrudge someone their secrets, but that's something I should know. Yeah, it's, um... It is something. The Illithid powers were developing. What do you make of them? On one hand, they seem useful. But on the other hand, or perhaps tentacle before long, we know where they're coming from and what lies at the end of that path. They don't really know where they're coming from, do they? I do never know. expected Ceramorphosis to be tempting. I think we should resist these powers. There's simply too many unknowns for us to risk it. Hmm. I'm gonna say perhaps you're right. It's been known to happen. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? Yeah, what drew you to Shar worship? Oh yeah. She took me in when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, loves me. Don't believe the lies the Salunites tell. <laughs> now I bet if we talk to all the others, they'll have something to say about Gale. So I'm going to talk to Karlak and Astarian again. Okay. I'm waiting. Oh. Nope, nothing. Well, you were having a private moment, and I could not join your dialogue. It's, it, Karlak just says, I'm waiting. I'm like, oh, okay, I don't know what to do. I'm, let me, I'm just pulling up her quest line. I'm trying to remember what next, the next step here was. Um, you got to get more Infernal Iron, right? Yeah. Which we've not come across yet. Oh, that's rough. And you're... I mean, we were just talking about... Blue, I don't know what we're... Were blue ovaries ever like a thing? Were blue? <laughs> I don't know. If, <laughs> gonna leave God. her frustrated. <laughs> I know. All right, I'm gonna talk to Astarian again. Think. 
Gales had this devastating war within himself the entire time, and only just mentioned it. Who'd keep a secret like that from his friends? You can't trust anyone these days. Uh, Astarian. You didn't tell anybody you were a vampire. We had <laughs> figured it out our own damn selves. <laughs> Astarian seems a very much a rules for thee, not for me type of guy. Oh, 100%. Okay, Lazel, what do you think? Speak. Oh, you still don't care? Okay. Uh, Will, I'm going to try you again. I love I love um, how sinewy Lazel is designed. Yeah. She seems very, like, Strong and but in like a wiry strong way, as right? Opposed to like a willowy strong way, yeah. High tension, well <laughs> met. Nothing to say, okay. Well, I'll ask him what do you think of the illithid potential the dream visitor spoke of? I think that unknowable powers come with unknowable consequences, <laughs> yeah. I can't say I'm not curious, but once you take an illithid by the talon, there's no telling how deep into the abyss it might drag you. He's not looking to sign on. He's had enough, like, contracts for power for unknown amounts of commitment. All right. Right. Anything more we should discuss? Yeah. Yeah, he, he kind of knows all about that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do a long rest then. <gasps> do you, you see this? Recognize the I feathered do. creature. It's the owlbear cub you rescued. Yes. Oh my god. Uh, uh what are? <sighs> Fuck's sake. We will not be attacking. The question is, do I get food or do I try the animal handling? What percentage of people who got to this point choose option three, you think? I like one percent? Right? God. Right? Um, I'm going to grab the food from my bag. Everyone approves. The cub's eyes lock onto the food <laughs> in your hand. <laughs> I took a drink as I looked at number three. That was a mistake. <laughs> 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 what it doesn't say is you maintain eye contact <laughs> with the owl bear as you eat it. I'm going to keep the food held out in front of me. What a delectable little pet. <gasps> a starion? No! Oh, now look. You've scared off the little snack. <laughs> I better get another chance to feed that owlbear cub. What if that's just it? What if you had to do animal handling? Then I restart the game. <laughs> this would be a reason to kick a star in from the party. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, there's a quest uh, back here. There's a quest oh. marker back here. Who is it for? Oh, it's for Shadowheart. Shadowheart is a quest marker, a quest update. Okay, I'll come um, talk I, to her. I was hoping the quest marker was a owl bear. I know, right? Well, nonetheless, I'll talk to Shadowheart. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. Now I'm intrigued. Do continue. I could have died in that pod back on the Nautiloid. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. Yeah, you do. Twice over, in fact. You supported me against Lazel. I may not have survived that night without you. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me. At least from what I can remember. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. 
There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a Dark Justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... Inscrutable. Hmm. Do you think she'll ever relent to make you a dark justiciar? I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate. Hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion. A distraction. For this, I hope my time will yet come. Hmm. Yeah, I I don't understand why be so secret about such an ambition. Dark I can guess. Dark justices but... are hated by many, judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a justice here in their midst. But. There's a simpler answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind. Hmm. Uh, thank you for sharing. Huh. I wonder what reminded her. Hmm. And I wonder where our owl bear cub went. Yeah, I see another yellow dot, but it's just um, what's her face? It's the 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 bard, the temporary oh, bard. Oh, the hireling. Yeah. yeah. Shoot. Probably the next night we'll have some I other progress. I hope so. I'll try animal handling the next time, maybe. I, I, I'll bet it was just it was we were gonna get that regardless. Yeah, I think you're right, but uh, nonetheless. Okay, well, shall we go back uh, out of camp? Yeah. Let's do that then. Here we go. Oh, uh, yeah, I see where we're going. I have to. I, I'm turning my little mini map around. I'm gonna go back and forth and see. Yeah. how I feel. Yeah, like, uh, what I want ultimately is what they have in, like, 14, where it shows what direction your character is facing within the... So that swings around, but the yeah. map stays um, consistent. Because otherwise, the only way for me to know which way I'm going within that map is by, like, moving and seeing which way my character goes in along it. Mm. And I just really prefer being able to I mean, orient myself. It does have, it does have like an, uh, an arrow showing what direction useful. you're facing at the moment. Does it? Where? It's very, like, like on your character. Like, there's a little dot at the front of your character showing which, like, we, on the mini-map, uh, there's a little dot showing which direction your character is looking at. But it's a very small shadow. Oh, small yeah, arrow. that is super tiny. It's, like, not useful. Yeah, it'd have to be a lot bigger to... In any case, oh, though, where are we? Apple and potato. Nice. There's something here. Okay, there's a Let's signpost. I'm going to read it. Welcome to no, Joaquin's no. Rest. West, Baldur's Gate. East, El Torel. Okay. This is something's rest. Joaquin's Smoke. rest. Something's burning. Uh oh. Sounds bad. 
Now, this seems like we're going north towards the missing... Yeah, yeah. and that's not what I wanted. I want to go do Lazel's thing, so let's go back down. Fist before. Recruit Efren. Yeah, we'll come back to you, Fist Recruit Efren. Yeah. A dragon rider. My kin are near. It's huge. Ooh, all oh, all I saw was the shadow. Same. Time without seeing one. And then they wouldn't stop pestering you. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna save. Yeah, so I just want to take a second to double check, like, what her particular quest sign was. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, see, the, we spoke to Zoro. He saw the Gith Yankee on the road to the Baldur's Gate near a mountain pass in the northwest, traveled with Lazel. And then a red dragon, the sort ridden by Gith Yankee knights, passed overhead as we traveled the Risen Road. The Gith Yankee Zoro spoke of could be near, nearby. Okay. Okay, yeah. So this is the mountain pass. Oh, Drop conversation. I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is your last chance. No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn. Oh, jeez. Who are these guys? Oh, you are beautiful. Stop wasting time, Beretta. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to... No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Fail her at your peril. They are intense. The red dragon. I envy its knight. Would that I rode such a steed. A crash must be near. Come. My kin await. Um. And <laughs> we'll just pat the dragon on the head, I suppose. <laughs> the dragon serve Gith Yankee. I'll see it does you no harm. Follow me. We are close to the cure we seek. She says that, but I am concerned that that is not what's going to happen here. Oh, she's, she's gone. Oh, she's, yeah, she's on the move. Okay. And can I express my appreciation for the warrior pigtails that that Gith Yankee had? <laughs> that was adorable. Uh, Looks like that road dragon. closed due to inclement weather. Seek marked detail. Rider, my Here time we go. is short. Dialogue. Lead me to. Shh, shh, shh. Such a familiar tone. Were I not merciful, I would slice the skin clean from your meat. Yet you are not bleeding. For I am nothing if not merciful. Your name, child. I'm gonna nod to Lazel. Go ahead. Lazel. Lazel. Proud. Regal, even. You will call me Jestil Kithrak. Vos, Knight Supreme. The Queen's Silver, the Queen's Sword. I am who you say. A geek vessel has fallen from the sky, Lazel. Thieves aboard have taken a weapon most precious. It is polyhedric in shape and inscribed with the sacred runes of our people. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Mm. Somehow, it's afraid you attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to part from you. It does not want to fall into the Gith Raider's hands. Take word to your crash. You are to join our search. Speak up, child. Affirm your mandate. I wish we had Shadowheart for this now that, I'm, now that we're here. Yeah. I did, we had no idea this was going to be an artifact-related thing, though. Right. I'm going to try the persuasion, I think. Play along. Okay, so this is um, 
and give myself advantage. Okay, totally fine. Totally fine. Hey, there's that favorable beginnings buff. From a tadpole. You honor me with this duty, Kithrak. I shall alert my caretaker with haste. Lazel, child. Ah, oh, goddamn. Your damn. lies sting. Has Vlakith not demanded better? Vlakith demands my purity, Kithrak. I was infected aboard a gay ship. Maybe we should have gone with truth. You must aid me. You were on the Nautiloid. Then you are a geich wearing gith Yankee skin. Bend your head for the sword. I have done no wrong, Kithrak. Our queen's word binds me. Beretha, see that her skull is split and her corpse examined on Vlakith's command. I will take word to the undying queen. Our search continues. Ooh, I thought we were going to have to fight a the dragon for a sec. <laughs> carries boss's words. Wherever he flies, it is not to Vlakith. Ooh. Oh, to Danos, to the sky. Now that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, you are so cute. It is very cool. I want to scratch its neck. Yeah, I'm very glad we're not fighting it. But we are fighting these guys. So that happened. I can't say I'm surprised. After how they you know attack those soldiers okay oh and one of the uh the soldiers dead are the flaming as flaming fist mercenary and the one in the village up above was like fist something mm. it was like fallen fist billy or something so i'll bet <laughs> it was i'll bet they're tied together if we go back afterwards yeah okay well what are you up to you've got initiative oh. I'm looking at the one of them has a buff called Ready to Parry, Sarth Baretha, one warrior of the one sky. So par we'll parry the next weapon attack. So we have to be careful to not attack that one yet. Mm. Un maybe. Un a Githyanki can parry an attack as long as they have a reaction. They wield a greatsword and they aren't blinded, incapacitated, or restrained. So I'm thinking okay. of trying to restrain her. Yeah, um, that'd be great. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work, but we will try it. Nice. Holding person. Fantastic. And I'm going to stay back here because I don't want to yeah. get like, disrupted from concentration. Right. Yep. Oh, misty step. Oh, no. Um... Oh, you've got that missile snaring. Whew. I am going to do cutting words and see if I can make them miss. Ah, damn. Eh. I should have gotten farther away. It's okay. They've got they've got significant range here, so I'm not sure farther is a thing. Ouch. 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 Where'd she go? Who? The one with the sky? Uh, she just disappeared on my screen. Huh. Oh. Shit, I don't know. Did she turn invisible? Oh, she used it. Yeah, Sarah, Sarah, uh, Sarth Baretha used Potion of Invisibility. Well fun yeah okay um damn it okay i'm gonna have to but she's the boss anyway like she well no there's a lot of them are high health yeah there's the age-old question do we take down the the little raider ads or do we go for the big ones let's bring down a couple little guys okay if we can what do you mean not enough movement? He was right there. Oh my god. Okay, well maybe I can't attack that guy. I've got a bonus. 
Okay, well, I'm gonna hit the guy I can see. Uh, hit the guy I can see then, but. Why is Astarian not attacking? Does he not have. What the fuck is going on here? He has his crossbows on. I don't know what's going on. Oh, there it goes. No. I don't know why it wasn't registering. Weird. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, Lisa. Okay, she still has two hit points. I'm gonna do. She should have a, the tears protection from her sword. And then I'm gonna have her try to cleave this guy. <gasps> Missed. Okay, action surge. Okay, that was a good hit, Lazel. That was worth the action surge. It's a beefy it. hit. Okay, I'm gonna heal Lazel. And then... Well, now this guy's getting close to getting down, so I'm gonna... Yeah. Gonna... That changes the calculus. Right? Because it's like, that's who I could hit, so... All right, you're up. Uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. I am trying to decide. I want to. I kind of want to bark skin someone uh, too far, too far away to really animal someone. Um, but I'm not sure who I want to. I'm, I'm kind of on death's door myself. I might actually yeah. have to just to get the health back. Yep. Uh, I was going to say, Astarian is the lowest um, armor class at 14. But. Uh, okay. I don't think I can. Well, I can dash. Okay. Cutting words again. They missed. <laughs> you see that insult? Oh, I did. Then they got a critical on me. God damn. Whoops. Oh, I hit the wrong button. We're in rough shape. This might be a reset. Yeah. I mean, you know, a, a, a post death reset. Right, right. Because there's still an invisible, like. Big. Oh, God. I'm down. Star is down. Well, we could prep better for this, knowing it's coming also, like, with yeah. buff up first and that sort of thing. Yep. She's going to second wind. And then she's going to attack. Oh, missed. God damn it. Yeah, I'd provoke an opportunity attack of opportunity from here. Um, uh, I'm going to put on the charm that makes it more likely that you succeed your death saving throws. Can I do that while I'm dead? Can I do that? I don't think I could do it while I'm dead. Damn. Okay, it was worth a try. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, I there's not much I can yep. not much I can really do right now. Yep. Do your best. You got this. Uh I'm just I I think I have to try to get this guy down, so I'm going to provoke the attack of opportunity and hope okay. I dodge, I guess. Sure. Nope. I did not dodge. <laughs> uh, hmm. But now you can move forward and attack if you need to. 
That was not enough. Nope. It was Valiant, though. Yeah. Yeah, this is not it. Oh, well. Ouch! Rallied. That can't be good. Ouch! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> okay, there we saved is. right before this, I'm guessing, though. We did. We're pretty close to it. Yeah, so, and, you know, we are out of time for today. And so, that's going to be a pretty good stopping point. We will have to come back and figure out what we're going to do about this. But this is a tough fight, for sure. Yeah, we, we got this, though. We could definitely, knowing what's going on now, I think we could definitely do it. So, yeah. All right. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you the next time. Bye. Bye bye.